have no fear, have no fear. The king of the dinosaurs is here. That would be me. Tyrannosaurus Rex, which actually means Tyrant Lizard King. And, well, that's me. <laughs> and did you know that a full-grown T-Rex, like myself, ta-da, is more than 12 meters in length? That's longer than a school bus. And when I stand up to my full height, I'm taller than a double-decker bus. The Tyrannosaurus Rexes weigh more than seven tons, you know. And I have the most beautiful teeth. Would you like to see them? Most vegetable-eating dinosaurs have small, bumpy teeth for chewing and grinding leaves and plants. But, well, you see, I am a carnivore. Uh, that means meat eater. Uh, yum, 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 yum. And my teeth are perfect for, well, there's simply no other way to put this, for eating other dinosaurs. And the best part is once my teeth get a little worn down, they're automatically replaced. It really is a tremendous honor being king of the dinosaurs. 65 million years ago, we T-Rexes ruled the world, especially these parts of North America. Here. Yeah. Well, I'd simply love to stay and chat with you all some more, but you see, my subjects need me, and I need them, because it's lunchtime! Oh dear. Ah, my friend, welcome to paradise. I am Baryonyx. No, wait, my friend. You leave too soon. Look around. Ah, take it all in. Yes, yes. Believe me, this won't last forever. Alas, only 80 million years. Come, come closer. We will talk, you and I. Oh, but you are, how do you say, freaked out by my strangeness? My claws disturb you? My long, tapered mouth? I know you are as fascinated by me being a fish eater as I am. You see, with these, I can scoop out my fish dinner from the water. <laughs> and with the 90 short teeth I have in my mouth, I can eat it up. Yum. Yes, I know, I am very unique. There were not many of us. So come, we will soak in the sun of this paradise I live in. Smell the perfume of the very first flowering plants. Ah! See the first butterflies. Ah, yes, that's it. Come a little closer. You begin to understand why I love it here, yes? Fine. Then go, go! There are other lungfish in the Cretaceous Swamp, you know? Just leave me be. But know this. You hurt me. Deeply. And now, I must sun myself. Ah! Ooh, don't sneak up on me like that. Give me a heart attack. Let me introduce myself. I am the Bipiaosaurus. And yes, I have feathers. I was flying there a second ago, looking for some plants to eat. Did you see? Okay, okay, well, maybe it was more like I fell out of the tree. But I did feel lift on my wings just before I hit the ground. Hard. Did you hear something? Because I definitely heard something. Ah! Oh, I do say, excuse the interruption. You don't have to hide. Really now, I'm the Microceratus, one of the smallest dinosaurs ever. What can I possibly do to you? They should have been named Chicken, not after Bai Piao, the city in China where they found the Bai Piao fossil. I am not a chicken. Just careful. Besides, would a chicken try to fly again? Huh? It's just mind over matter. I can do this. <laughs> Whoa, that's a long way down. Okay, so my feathers aren't made for flying. They're more like downy fibers, but they're still feathers, right? And I'm not super huge or anything. I'm only a little bit taller and heavier than a man. All I have to do is think positive. I am...
bien, padres! <risa> Gotcha! Scared you, didn't I? Well, that's because I'm an Afro-Venator. That means African hunter. Pretty impressive, huh? But don't be worried. I won't hunt you. Watch me hunt that Jobaria. He won't see me coming and he'll be so scared. Oh, he's gone. Well, that's okay. I'm not that hungry. It wasn't like I was going to eat him in front of you. There really is no trick to hunting. You just have to look. Take that Chubaria, for example. He's huge. Very easy to spot. Perfect. But you know, you don't need to be 10 meters long with a mouthful of sharp teeth and three claws on each hand to be a hunter like me. For instance, you could hunt to find where in the world we are right now. Africa, that's right. There was also a clue in my name. Did you get that? Afro, meaning I'm from what's now known as Africa. Or you could hunt for fossils, like Paul Sereno, who found a nearly complete fossil of me in Niger in 1993. What a find! Someone who hunts for fossils is called a paleontologist. Please excuse me. Gotcha! Come back and see me next week. I will teach you how to use your nails to comb your hair. Well, hello there. I've never seen you before. Looking around the late Jurassic Forest, are we? Looking for a big dinosaur? Maybe like me? Well, you've come to the right place. I'm Diplodocus. Diplodocus. You found me. I'm kind of hard to miss, actually. Hmm, <laughs> I smell something yummy. Is it in here? Sigh. As you can see, I'm pretty big and it's hard for me to get into tight places. But that's why I have this really long neck. Tasty. I love eating plants, all kinds of them. That's why they call me a herbivore. But being this big doesn't always make it easy. Hmm, how can I describe how big I am? Have you seen my herd? They're easy to spot. Imagine, they're all big like me. I've been looking for them all afternoon. It's like they've been hiding from me. You know what else comes in handy? My front legs. See how they're shorter than the back ones? Having these types of legs helps me keep my balance. Watch! I also have these cool peg-like teeth that grow forward. They help me strip all sorts of plants and swallow them whole. Mmm, whatever that is, it smells so yummy. Hey, maybe that's my herd. Hey, what's the... And stay out! Ah, you have come to the late Jurassic period in search of the great and powerful Compsonathus. That's Compsonathus. It's very easy if you practice. Ow! Hey, Bavariosaurus! Did you hear what they're saying about me? I am the number one land predator in these islands in the death of sea. It's true! No dinosaur gets past me. Why, well, see these legs? They're long and slender, which helps me to run very, very fast. You are so full of hot air. I'm surprised you don't float away. Do you dare insult me, the mighty Gonsonathus? I can eat any lizard, dinosaur, or fish I want. Any one. I was the first complete dinosaur fossil that scientists could study. You, you see? see? Again, Again, I was I first. Was first. Num Num number one. one. Bring in the size chart. Okay, so I'm on the small side. So what? 
what? I'm still number one. Excuse me while I go and show our friend why I'm number one. Oh, you think I cannot climb? Well, you are wrong. My bones, they're hollow like a bird's, which means I'm light. And, oh yeah, see this tail? It'll help me stay balanced. You can run, but you can't hide because I am the magnificent Compsonathus! Oh, where'd it go? Aha, found it! How's it going, eh? And welcome to the late Cretaceous period, 70 million years ago. I'm Edmontosaurus. That's Edmontosaurus, eh? I just found the puck so I can keep playing dino hockey with my pal, Eddie. Do you know where I got my name from? It's pretty cool. I was named after the city Edmonton, which is in what's now Alberta in Canada, where I'm from. Check it out, eh? My hands were made for pitching and catching. Eddie and I are practicing before the big game with the rest of our herd. Eh? Oh yeah, I'm the kind of dinosaur that can walk on two legs to get those really hard to reach leaves on trees. And four legs when I'm chasing Eddie. Do you see how long we are? As long as a sailboat. But we're pretty heavy, almost four tons. You're probably wondering how I could eat with a duck bill, eh? Well, I have up to 60 rows of teeth in my cheeks, eh? Our teeth allow us to eat the hardest seeds and conifer needles with no trouble at all. Ugh, I don't eat meat. Only plants go in this mouth. I better get back to practicing. Hugesaurus! Have a good one, eh? Alright team, here we are in the late Jurassic period, 150 million years ago. You know me, I'm Coach Stegosaurus. You can say my name. Stegosaurus! That's the herbivore spirit? Okay, let's go over our equipment. Get in line. Great, let's see those plates. Now, that's not really enough armor, but they do make the carnivorous dinos think twice about taking a bite out of us. These plates actually let us be warmer or colder, depending on how much we point them at the sun. Hey, an Allosaurus. Let's see those stagomizers. Yes, those stagomizers at the end of our tails are the real deal. Those spikes are up to 1.2 meters long. And we need them where we're from, what is now known as the Midwestern United States. In fact, we're Colorado State Fossil. All right, team. No one's gonna mess with us, right? Stegosaurus! 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 Rah, rah, rah! We're pretty big, the size of a bus. Are you ready, Stegosaurus? That's great, team. Stegosaurus! and welcome to the late Jurassic period 144 million years ago. You say my name, Torvosaurus. It means savage lizard. <coughs> Gee, what is going on with my roar box? I'm a theropod, which means I walk on two legs and I eat meat. A meat eater is called a carnivore. I am the largest meat eater in these parts. I'm one of the biggest theropods ever, over 10 meters long. 
And these thumb claws, they help me hunt for food. I'm from what's now known as the Midwestern United States. Yeehaw! That's better. Now let me try a good one. <laughs> oh yeah, welcome to the late Cretaceous period 70 million years ago. I'm a Gorgosaurus. That's Gorgosaurus. Mom? Now? They're gonna think I'm just a kid. I can't wait till I get big. I'm going to be even scarier than my mom over there. Rawr! Cause that's what my name means, fearsome lizard. I'm not as tall as she is yet, but one day I'll be nine meters long. I'll be as long as a house. Gorgosaurus like me, Tyrannosaurus? Phew, that's a big word, but it has to be big just like us. Imagine, we're in the same dino family with T-Rex. See all the sharp teeth? We're meat eaters and our teeth help us chew even the toughest meat. I'm from what is now known as Alberta, Canada. So when I get fully grown, watch out. If you wanna get big, you have to eat a good meal. And I've already called you for lunch four times. Yes, mom. Gotta go eat, see you later. Carcharodontosaurus here in the late Cretaceous period, 110 million years ago. Car, chero, donto, saurus. It means jagged, shark-toothed dinosaur. And for good reason. These teeth are 20 centimeters long. Pretty scary, huh? Well, they will be, anyway. I've got a loose tooth. When it's out, I'm going to be the happiest theropod ever. Theropod means beast feet. And there are lots of dinosaurs that belong to that family. Believe it or not, birds are in my family. Of course, T-Rex is the most famous theropod. But guess what? I'm just as big, if not bigger than T-Rex. I'm 13 meters long. But I live in North Africa. Maybe if I don't wiggle it, it'll fall by itself. Maybe it won't be today. out of my egg. Oh! I'm Dasplinosaurus, the frightful lizard. Did I scare you? Oh yeah, I'm the dino. Ah! Look at that scary dinosaur. Run for your life. That was a close one. Let me help you say my name. Das Pleto Saurus. Das Pleosaurus. <laughs> 75 million years ago is a horror show of carnivorous monsters. But you're never going to find another scarier than me. See these teeth? These are dagger sharp, curved, 
And they're the same edges as saw. See? Saw? Get it? <laughs> These teeth are huge. Uh, only smaller than my future cousin, Tyrannosaurus Rex. But they're still big. Uh, like I said before, uh, my name means scary lizard. And there's nothing scarier than me. Uh, let's think of some scary animals. A lion is scary, all right. <laughs> What else? A great big grizzly bear. Those are totally scary. I'm telling you, it's my choppers as much as my size. Uh, I'm one frightful lizard, all right. I'm also hungry. Now that is scary. I'm Panopolisaurus. That's pan o plo -saurus. I wonder if you can guess what my name means. <laughs> Welcome to our game show. Guess the meaning of my name. Clue number one. I live here in the late Cretaceous period, 74 million years ago. No guesses? Okay. I'm from the family of dinos called Ankylosauria. That means I have body armor. Oh. I have a stiff, clubless tail. And look at all my spikes. I'm built like an armored truck. Any ideas? Uh, square root of four. Uh, uh, five by eight. Mm, pie. This is an easy clue. I'm the same size as a dump truck. And I weigh three and a half metric tons. The same as an elephant. Of course, all of this armor is to protect me from meat eaters like these two T-Rexes. Okay, this is the last clue, and then you'll have to answer. I live in what is now Alberta, Canada. So can you guess what my name means? Does it mean delicious? No, Panoplosaurus means totally armored lizard. Look at all the armor on me, sheesh. Do I win something? No. Hey, play nice. I gave you easy clues. Oh well, see you next time. Hi, hi, I'm Zuni Ceratops. You say it, zoo? Knee, sir, tops. My name means Zuni horned head. And my eyebrow horns come in handy, especially since I have an itch in the middle of my back where I just can't reach. Ah! Ah! And this is my home here in the Middle Cretaceous period, 90 million years ago. See? My fossils were found in what's now known as New Mexico. A tribe of Native Americans lived here called the Zuni. Zuni, Zuniceratops. I'm the first ceratopsian. That means dinosaur who likes to eat plants that has eyebrow horns. And I have another horn. See, at the tip of my nose. I'm not very big just about the size of a cow. Ooh, so itchy. Wait, I know. Could you please scratch my back? A little to the left, lower. Yes, that's the best thing about being in a herd. You always get a helping head. Bye for now. Oops, sorry about that. I thought that he might be hiding in there. Oh, by the way, I'm Mega Raptor. That's Mega Raptor. You may have noticed that I'm in a bit of a rush, so I haven't got a whole lot of time to chat. Aha! Uh -huh. Hey, wait a sec! Come back here! I'm 
I'm as tall as a diving board. if you can help me with something. It's Mother's Day and I have no idea what to get my mum. Do you have any ideas? A bag of nuts! That would be a great idea. But nope, she hates nuts. We're carnivores and we don't eat plants. That's a great idea! Happy Mother's Day, Mom! <sighs> Hi there! I was just saying hello to the sun. You wait right here, babies. Mom is just gonna go talk to these folks for a minute. I'm Gallimimus. That's ga li mim -mus. My name means chicken mimic. A mimic is someone who copies someone else. But I don't think I copy a chicken at all. I'd like to know what chicken is as long as me. From the top of my head to the tip of my tail. I'm almost as long as a big car. Oh, sorry, I didn't see you there. You see, even though I have these really big, pretty eyes, I can't tell how far away things are, or even things right in front of me. I have to look sideways, like this. My babies! Oh, this is so exciting. I wonder what they'll be. <gasps> Baby Gallimimuses, just what I wished for. Well, I better start feeding them. Bye! Hi, my name's Minmi. It's very easy to say, Min, me. And welcome to the early Cretaceous period, 150 million years ago. These, these are my friends, Larry and Moe. We're very special dinosaurs, called ankylosaurs. Ankylosaurs are dinosaurs that eat plants and have armored plates on our backs. And today, we're gonna have a race. Hey. What are you trying to pull? Oh, come on. With all that body armor on your back, you didn't even feel a thing. Ta-da! Now, are we gonna race or not? Sorry, all of this racing is making me hungry. What are you talking about? We haven't even raced yet. Minmies aren't very big. We're about the size of a full-grown lion. Hey, we could have raced Australian back by now. That's where our fossils were found. It was now known as Australia. A place called Minmi's Crossing. Get ready. Get set. And... Uh. Eh. I don't feel like racing anymore. You? We're not very fast anyways. Let's just go for a slow walk then. Besides, we all know who would have won. Yeah, yeah me. me. 